Hello everyone. 4th of June 2021. Andrew back again here. <coughs> exactly nine days ago, 26th of May, we're done artificial swarming. That's the hive where all the swarmy bees went in with the original queen. And that's what's left. Cap, open brood, or whatever brood was on it. What we're going to do today, we're going to open this hive and break queen cells they made all of them make sure it's 100 percent break all of them and introduce mated queen into this hive so we start now <coughs> Oops. Feeder. Gone. the ideal is day nine or day eight because if it's too early they can still make queen cells you have to shake the bees make sure you're not missing single queen cell if you go after day nine or day ten there is a big possibility that the virgin queen will hush because if they lose a queen in big panic they could make a queen from the larvae three days old so three days then we have uh, on day seven the queen will come out three plus seven is ten so on day ten it will come out those queens in tails here should come out tomorrow so there'll be problem then to find the virgin queen because she's small and it's it's just a lot of hassle so day nine is the latest day day seven a little bit too early the ideal is day eight and day nine now we have some queen cells here oh there's a there's a pupa oops fell down you have to destroy all of them and make sure you get rid of them with the royal jelly scrape them out not just destroy them on the frame get rid of royal jelly as well that helps uh, while you introduce and mate queen there's a lot of queen cells on this side here We're taking all of them down Shake the bees, make sure you're not missing single queen cell. Three queen cells here. The queens in here already starting getting brown. So they, they'll be hatching out tomorrow, which we don't want to look for the queen all over the hive. Another queen cell here. Now if you're not sure, this is kind of, this is drone cell, but it looks like queen cell. If you're not sure, you better just destroy it to be safe side, on the safe side. Nothing here. Another queen cell here. The pupa is already adult there, she will be coming out probably tomorrow or so. Again, queen cell, two queen cells here. Now there is one in here. Oh, see, that is the virgin queen. I hope you can see it. Oh, it's a virgin queen. But we're going to destroy it because this is, this is not, this is the, at least F2 generation. We don't want any second generation on our apiary. Just F1. If I would have opened that tomorrow, that queen will be running around somewhere and it's not easy to find it.
So we're destroying everything, make sure and not missing a single queen cell. I repeat, it's day nine since we done artificial swarming. Now, that's them all. Now we're gonna get a, a queen, mated queen, from a PDA. And I'm gonna put it into one of those pushing cages. Queen goes inside there, then you close it and you close the entrance. That's the way it works. There's a candy plug here. It usually takes them, the candy is fairly stiff. It usually takes them about two and a half, two, three days before they release queen. Alright, just cover them for the minute. And we're going to get the queen. So we're looking for queen, mated queen. Just a bit of a pollen. It's a calm brood, it's nice pattern. There's some eggs and ears around there. So now you would see there are not a lot of eggs on that frame, just freshly laid on this side as well. Yeah, there's another frame cab brood. Here, oh, oh, there she is on the bottom. Oh, it's gonna be a hard one. She's right on the bottom, hard enough to catch you. Well, now I got her here on the frame there. Now I have to catch it and put it into this cage. She doesn't want to go, obviously. Oh. Job done. She's inside there. Back together. And we're going to put her into the hive. <coughs> That's actually a globe thistle. It's a very good plant for the bees. There's a bit of facilia here. So the queen is in this cage, comes in her own. This is not a transporting cage. Usually in transporting cage, I put in eight or 10 uh, worker bees. But this one goes just single queen. <coughs> and the way it works, you're just pushing that somewhere between cab brood. See that frame here contains some cab brood. Younger bees will come out and will accept her easier. And this side is cab brood as well. That's actually almost empty frame with just a bit of a stores in it. Just go and put it at the second last. I see the way they're reacting to the mate queen. 
because she produced a lot of pheromones. And they can smell it. If I left that for five minutes, there'll be a lot of bees on top of that cage. They're trying to feed her. Oh no, they feed her already. So what I'm going to do, I push in this cage. So it just sits an inch lower than the top of the frame. So we put the feeder back on. You don't need to feed it this time. There's a big change in the weather last week. Huge change. So it's a good funny flow at the moment. So we have a look in three days' time what happens, how they accept the queen. Three, four days, and we're looking for queen and for the eggs. 15th of June 2021, just a quick update. We have a look through our hives, see what happens. Uh, there's not much happening uh, last couple of weeks. The weather is very challenging, uh, just want uh, another few things to show you, so we start having um, number one. See what happened here. It's not much happening, bees are in the super. Last frame, there's nothing done on last frame. Middle frame, there's not much happening in the middle frame either. The bees are just came up onto the super. But they didn't do much, so there's nothing done. Uh, the reason I shown you this because I, I looked at that a couple of days ago. The bigger biggest problem the newer beekeepers have with the supers, they don't have drone comb, they only have foundation pure foundation as you could see right and the bees don't want to go up here build it and then fill it with the syrup or with the nectar so uh, if that would be drone comb that will be filled straight away but for to build this foundation and make it drone comb comb like that it takes a lot of energy and a lot of honey uh, in one super, there's roughly just under one kilo of drone comb, if it's done, drone wax, one kilo of wax. To produce one kilo of wax, the bees need to use about four times more, uh, four times larger amount of honey. So basically one uh, kilo of wax equals four kilos of honey. So if you sell in your honey 20 quid per per kilo roughly this is going to be by multiply four is going to be 80 euro only worth of drone wax in here plus uh, there's a uh, bees which are losing the energy lifespan obviously so it's it's uh, really you know your your gold in your apiary <coughs> your drone comb so you keep it over winter you you have to store it properly and all you have or if you're doing everything right it could use up to 10 years easy <clears throat> i'm not letting a queen to lay uh, into drone comb ever because if you start to lay in here the comb only uh, you can use it up to three years so the the frame the, the brood frames usually every three years are changed for new new foundation so we see what happened what happened here now we only have we only have a little bit they only started so they need to bring a lot of nectar and build this and then fill it with the nectar so what i'm going to do we have two brood boxes i'm going to put this super in between of them 
when they have an empty space in the middle of their nest, they will build it a lot quicker. So what I'm trying to, do, to show you, if it, you're putting foundation on top, they're not going to draw straight away. They're going to fill the brood boxes. Actually, there was about three good days <coughs> within that period since the last time I made the video. And they filled brood boxes straight away with the nectar. They were very, very heavy after two or three days, all of them. So, but they did, still didn't go into the super. If that would be drone comb, they will fill the super. But because it's foundation, they will fill the brood box and obviously stopping queen for laying as well, which is no good again. So I go and put this super in the middle of, in here, between those brood boxes. I have to find the queen, put the queen on the bottom box, onto the bottom box. And I go and put all cab brood onto the bottom box and all open brood and eggs onto the top box. Why is that? You tell me in comments why I put in cab brood downstairs and young brood or larry or eggs upstairs. You tell me that in comments, please. So we start now. Oh. So we have to find the queen and put her down. Oh, geez, that's really heavy now. That is about 25 kilo away. That's full of nectar. Uh, we start. We start from the top box. Just want to shoot all the oh, frame a bit. Oh Jesus, now that is completely full of nectar and pollen, just packed. I just want to show you, that is actually another problem in Ireland. They bring in too much of a pollen. See the way it's completely packed with pollen and capped honey. Instead of bringing honey into the super, they just put it into the second brood box on top and capping because super is not drawn comb, it's only foundation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to destroy a bit of capped honey and they're going to remove it from here, hopefully, and put it into the super. <clears throat> As I said, we're keeping all cab brood, cab brood into the bottom box. And all open brood into the top box. <clears throat> See the way? It's just packed with the pollen. That is a problem because if you use single brood box it's going to be not enough room for queen to lay. They pack in three or four frames completely with the pollen. They just bring it too much. That's kind of <coughs> one of the problems is beekeeping. So we're in Ireland and we have too much of a pollen anyway. We don't have any shortage of it. We're looking for queen, we have to keep the queen downstairs and put the queen excluder on the first brood box. Then we put in super and then we put in second brood box. What we're trying to achieve is to get them to draw that super quicker. Yeah, there's eggs in, in this. There's no queen here anyhow. We, <coughs> we shake the bees down. They will come up if I'm missing the queen, because I have to do it quicker. If I miss the queen, she will be on the bottom box. Eggs in here. No queen here. I live in that frame here. There's some open brood here still. A lot of cap, but there's still some open. No queen, no. Have a look through all this quickly. This is most of it. There's some larvae in it actually. No, I leave it here. Cab root. Completely cab root. There's no eggs. I put it in here. Now this frame con contains completely eggs. There's a lot of eggs. Massive amount of eggs here. 
the brood just hatching out here and she's filling with eggs we're looking for a queen we don't want her into the top box we want her into the bottom box all brood is hatching out especially especially the older uh, brood see this brood is very dark the bees will come out probably today so you tell me in comments why I put in the queen and the cab brood downstairs actually there's no eggs in this one yet downstairs no eggs in here oh there is eggs on that side yeah now there's a queen there's a queen here Woohoo! so we keep her downstairs obviously we need all open brood upstairs there's no eggs in here there's some in the middle a little bit not much the brood hatching now no eggs in this and cab brood downstairs cab brood cab brood there is there is open brood in here upstairs larvae i don't know if you see it or not larvae and eggs in this one both size both both size upstairs hatching brood it's in this situation here there is some eggs in the middle brood while well, brood is hatching but there's still a lot of hatching like a lot of brood will be hatched on this side as well they'll be hatched today so i put that downstairs and you tell me why what's in this one no eggs in that it's a bit of a syrup good bit of it actually what's the last frame last frame contains this is full of for well not syrup i didn't feed them all these it's a nectar so here here we have a look in here if we have any more cab brood yeah there is cab brood again show you see the way they capping it here just want to get rid of the bees so i'm just destroying the cappings i don't want any honey in the brood frames i don't want i want all my honey into super then i can extract easy so we have to show bees what to do frame of pollen of here and this is actually cab brood but it's younger cab brood again Just destroying honey. It's a bit, a little bit an extra job for them, for to remove it and put it into where I want it. Now that's it. We give them a little bit of smoke. Hope this didn't die. The smoke is for you're not squashing the bees obviously otherwise they're not using smoke much now that's that done now we want we want our super in here in a few days time we'll open it up we we'll see what happened make sure your frames are straight and then we put in your second brood box on top of that and of course we put in our plastic 
And roof. Job done. Uh, second hive here. We introduce newly mated queen into this hive. We see what happened in here. We're not necessarily going to find the queen. I just want to make a quicker videos. So they won't be boring. But we see if you see the eggs and the brood, we're fine. Actually, this brood box is, is quite heavy though. Oh, geez, this is completely full of net. They start even capping it. Completely packed and it's the weight of it. Jesus. We just want some eggs and larvae to see oh now yeah it's brilliant it's a grand job so they start capping this car brood there the here can be car brood they even oh and what we have even drone cells and they full of eggs not sure to see it there I, I hope you can see so the, the colony is strong enough they even producing drone brood so basically we don't need to look for the queen, car brood here, car brood here, everything goes according to plan. This thing here is empty. We have some play coops here, nothing in them. And there's a lot of larvae here. Larvae this way. Right. So, but this box is completely full of nectar and brood. We're not going to raise this box to the two full brood boxes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a queen excluder on this and put a super on that straight away. But oh, geez, the last frame. Just want to show you the last frame. It's absolutely massive. It's heavy. It's heavy to see it it's, it's even capped of capped honey Jesus, it's really heavy on this side so they definitely need a super big time so i put a queen excluder on this and put in a super but the super are going to put will have drawn comb and we see what's the difference. They're gonna fill it straight away because it's drone comb. They no need to build any, in, to build from foundation, you know, from pure foundation. The drone comb it does the job. We see in a few days' time what's the difference. So there is a queen excluder. Super. Just space the frame. The special yolks for spacing the frames. I have it there somewhere. Actually, those plastic queen excluders not working too good because they are getting bendy. The metal queen excluders I prefer, or there's some other different plastic ones. Uh, we don't really need that, but uh, just. We just put everything back on as it was. There's not any, and there's a few bees here. Shake them in here. Now, that's that one done. So, and this is empty. So, we're looking at the third one, see what happened in here. As I said, there was a artificial swarming done on this so we just want to open it see if there's any brood how they perform do they do they brought any any we were putting empty super into into this one see if they brought any nectar i don't think they did because there was only a couple of days of nectar flow 
obviously there's nothing in here absolutely nothing but the weight of of that hive is really big so we gave them we gave them foundations only so they kind of swarmy bees they they supposed to build it very quickly and, <clears throat> and fill it with the syrup that's what they did in here but they didn't come up to the super at all it's only a few bees running around it's a completely empty empty frames so we just want to check if there's brood and if the queen is okay we're not going to obviously fight the queen if you see the eggs or if you see the brood <coughs> we'll be happy obviously yeah that is good bit of nectar on that one now and last frame some drone brood on that one yeah and normal brood as well so we have queen anyhow she is laying i just want to see the eggs and that will be finito for this type of inspection yeah there's eggs here the camera actually it's not showing what happened inside the cells it's trying to get maybe darker frame it might be more better focus but Uh, you know would you would you see it there's eggs actually just in the middle there's not much around and it's in a bit of syrup and that, uh, the nectar and that as well that's actually oh now cab root queen is here anyway she's laying <coughs> she's there somewhere playing cups not in it oh sorry that's that's the drone brood playing cups there's no eggs in them Yeah, there's brood hatching now, there's eggs in the in those cells. So anyway, queen is there. It's it's kind of light enough, the, the middle one light enough. What's the last one? Oh, yeah, the light last one actually. Very heavy when they start to cap and and they capped on this side. This side they cap in the honey. So they are ready for super, but they want a super with a drone comb, not the foundation. But as a beginner, we as a beginners, we don't have that. Where's the smoker? Here. So we see next next few days they're given better weather, as they usually say. <laughs> Never happened. So we just put everything here back together. There's not much we can do in this hive here. We just have to wait till the honey flow really starts. Right, that's it for today. Uh, I'll update you in as soon as I can.